Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. PAE ISR's Resolute Eagle UAS completes first commercial airspace flight. FAA grants waiver for Aerotain Sky to fly over people. And AUVSI announces Liquid Piston as winner of Novus Unmanned 2017. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AEVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. On November 8th, PAE ISR's Resolute Eagle UAS completed its first commercial airspace flight. The flight took place at the Pan Pacific UAS test range located at Pendleton Airport in Oregon operating under an FAA Certificate of Waiver. This event signifies PAE's ISR's ability to successfully fulfill U.S. commercial and civilian requirements in addition to U.S. military missions, says Chica Maline, president of PAE ISR. We are excited by this achievement as it represents our ability to offer our dynamic platform to a broader customer set. A Group 3 fixed-wing tactical UAS, the Resolute Eagle, is known for delivering advanced performance and payload capacity, available power, and small logistical footprint to support various types of missions. The UAS can carry several intelligence payloads, and it offers a long endurance capability, all at an affordable price. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. The Mars Institute, the SETI Institute, and Fiber Solutions Incorporated are announcing a new partnership with the NASA Houghton Mars Project for the research and development of unmanned aerial vehicle or drone technologies and applications for future Mars exploration. The NASA HMP is a leading international Mars analog field research project centered on the Houghton Meteorite Impact Crater Site and surrounding terrain on Devon Island High Arctic as one of the most Mars-like places on Earth. The site is often referred to as Mars on Earth. ASTM International's Committee on UAS held a successful meeting at Virginia Tech recently that included significant progress in standards development and live demonstrations. As a result of the meeting, the committee is launching a work on six new standards related to detect and avoid technologies, fuel cell design, business operation manuals, maintenance technician qualification and certification, and beyond visual line-of-sight package delivery. As his term at the FAA comes to an end, the FAA's Michael Huerta spoke at the Aero Club in Washington, D.C. With a perspective spanning more than seven years at the agency, his remarks focused on the importance of building partnerships with stakeholders to continue advancing America's global leadership on aviation. Huerta recognized that incorporating new stakeholders like drone users and technology companies into the FAA's decision-making processes will be essential to continue making progress in the future. Lewis University has used a UAS from its Unmanned Aircraft Systems Program to deliver college admissions acceptance letters to eight students at Romeoville High School. The delivery is believed to be the first of its kind in the United States. Being the first delivery of this kind in the nation demonstrates how Lewis University is a leader in aviation education from the first moments of your Lewis University experience, said Lewis University's president, Dr. David Livingston. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. The FAA has granted a waiver from the agency's small drone rules to SEVA test now in Columbus, Ohio to allow a company to operate a helium-filled Aerotain Sky tethered aircraft over people on the ground. The Aerotain Sky resembles a tethered floating beach ball, but is technically an aircraft. It carries a camera and small motors for propulsion. The Sky's diameter is about 7.5 feet, and it weighs about 14 pounds deflated. The envelope is filled with helium. There is no location limitation in the waiver, so Civitas now can operate anywhere in uncontrolled airspace. An airspace authorization or waiver from the FAA is required for flights in controlled airspace, just as for any other drone operator. 
The CVITAS now waiver is part of the FAA's continuing effort to expand drone operations in the nation's airspace, while reducing risk to public safety and security. AEVSI has announced Liquid Piston as this year's winner of Nova Sunmanned, a conference of premier innovators and investors in unmanned systems technology from around the world. The event took place in San Francisco on November 1st. Liquid Piston develops advanced rotary engines based on the company's patented thermodynamic cycle and engine architecture. The combustion engines are scalable from 1 to over 1,000 horsepower. They are designed to be compact, powerful, quiet, efficient, low vibration, and multi-fuel. The startup is currently working on developing the power-dense, near-zero vibration, quiet X-mini 70 cubic centimeter gasoline-powered rotary four-stroke engine. As the winner of Novus Unmanned Liquid Piston will receive the grand prize valued at over $50,000, comprised of products and services ranging from membership in AUVSI to advertising and marketing opportunities at an AUVSI-hosted event, such as unmanned systems defense, protection and security, exponential, and the automated vehicle symposium. Nova Sunmanned is a wonderful opportunity for industry stakeholders to come together and discuss the latest developments in unmanned systems technology, such as liquid pistons engines, said Brian Wynn, president and CEO of AUVSI. All of the selected finalists submitted impressive and innovative applications, highlighting their vision of the future of the unmanned systems industry. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unman.net. We'll see you next week.